I'm Kyle Compton, Technical Director of Brian Hurd Auto Sport. We're here getting ready for the last qualifying session before the 24 hours of Nürburgring. Working with Target Competition in partnership with Hyundai Motorsports Germany. Uh, the guys are getting ready for their last lap before the race tomorrow. One lap doesn't sound like much, but here it takes us over nine minutes to do just one lap. So we can learn a lot and get a lot of practice on one lap. viewers are used to 24-hour races like Daytona. How different is this race on such a much larger track with so much topography? Um, it's, a, it's actually more similar than you'd think. Um, at Daytona we could go about 60 minutes, here we can go about 70 minutes. So very similar in amount of pit stops and amount of driver changes we're going to do. I think the big difference is is how many laps per stint and, and how we look at fuel. Um, you know, at Daytona we can do over 20 laps and we can kind of pick and choose, oh, maybe we stretch it a, a lap on fuel or pit early and things like this. Um, here we're burning over 11 liters per lap. So uh, we, we can't ever go an extra lap. We can do eight laps and that's the cap. So typically we're going to have each driver do eight laps and we're going to be very uh, routine about each one of our stops. Every stop should be front tires, fuel and driver change, and we should be changing rear tires every fourth stop. Approximately how many miles is eight laps? Oof, uh, eight, eight laps is going to be over a hundred miles. So, um, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but 70 minutes, eight miles, and they're, yeah, they're pushing as hard as they can. So in comparison, if you thought about the tracks that we race in the United States and put them all together here, it would be like Road America, VIR, Road Atlanta, maybe a little bit of Bar uh, Lime Rock, but all in one lap. Yeah, we, and you can kind of break down each track, like, um, uh, the, the sectors one and two in the GP circuit are very smooth, they're more like a Daytona, whereas a lot of the back sections of the track, sectors six and seven, are, get really bumpy and are a lot more comparative to Sebring. Um, and then towards the end of the lap, like sector eight, is a big long straightaway similar to like maybe a Road America, and we've got tons of elevation change. It reminded some of our coworkers of when we went to the Ozarks track. And, and so uh, they've got a little bit of everything here, uh, which makes it very interesting and a lot more difficult to engineer. And then talk about traffic. There's three classes recently. Oh, more than, more than three classes. There's um, probably close to 10 classes, and the speeds vary so drastically. The top class being GT3, but the bottom classes of, you know, kind of like the, the slower classes of like VT2, you have over a minute of lap time delta. So uh, pole will probably be a low eight minute lap, and, but there will be cars out there doing close to 11 minute laps. So um, for us in TCR, we're towards the middle. So we're gonna have cars coming by us at very fast speeds. We're also gonna be passing cars at very fast speeds. So 160 cars, even as big as this track is, they're pretty much always in traffic. So would you say the most challenging stints will be in the night? Yes, yes, it's uh, akin to Sebring a bit with that. Um, you know, Daytona is similar to the GP track where there's a lot of uh, natural light and the track is well lit. But as soon as they get under the North Fife, it's uh, pitch black. And, um, you know, we've got some bright headlights, but there are a lot of blind corners. And it takes the drivers to have a lot of trust in our communication as well as the track um, properly communicating yellows and code 120s and code 60s. So the race starts at 4 p.m. tomorrow, Saturday, here in Germany and ends at 4 p.m. on Sunday. Yeah. This is the first 24 hour for Taylor. Well, fortunately, the, uh, the target team has prepped these cars really well, and they're very similar to what we run in IMSA. So she's got familiarity with the car there, coming straight from Laguna. Um, she's been driving this car for uh, over a year now. She's won a championship in this car. So she's very familiar with the car. That helps a lot. The big thing is just learning the track and uh, the conditions. Um, tonight will probably be the most challenging for her. Um, you know, we're going to try to double stint some drivers in the night to give drivers a longer opportunity to nap. But, um, yeah, it's going to be 24 hours of uh, not a lot of sleep and uh, um, 
require some caffeine to get us through the checker flag. It's certainly some heavy mental challenges. Yeah, I think talking to the drivers, the mental is the tougher part than the physical. You know, you, you have to be um, focused a lot more than you would be on other tracks because of how much traffic there is and how technical this track is. So physically, maybe not as demanding, but mentally, the focus is just uh, really difficult for the drivers to maintain.